verse 28, in base things of the world and things which are despised hath the most high chosen. Yea, in things which are not to bring to naught the things that are, that no yes. flesh should glory in his presence. That's right, because you look at Esau and his mindset, especially when you read books like Obadiah, read books like Jeremiah 49, 50 and 51, and it talks about the pride of Esau. It even goes into the form of him extolling himself to the clouds and him looking at himself to be a god. You know, so when you look at the laws he's passing and the things that he's doing right now, it makes sense why the Lord is like, look, I'd rather choose the weak things to confound the wise. You know, because you look at it, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, right? Isaiah 14. It's the reason why that question's asked. Because you got Esau that's extolled on such a high degree, and he looks at himself, he can't be stopped. Hold on, man. God damn. <laughs> it's been loud as hell all day. But going back into that, the Lord is going to use the weak, the Israelites, bro, those that have a bruised ill. Just as the scriptures say in Genesis 3, going into the judgment of the serpent, all right, that the seed of the woman was going to bruise his head, all right, while we was going to have a bruised hill. So we're weak right now, and it's no problem, but what? The Lord said, I will use the weak things to confound the wise, and that's through this wisdom, okay? You got more on that one? Uh, that was it. Okay, we can jump to Daniel, uh, Daniel I'm sorry, Ezekiel 28. We're going to talk about that very briefly going into that because you got a so-called Christian that will bring this out and say that this is talking about the spiritual demon Satan when it's not. All right. They try to use this to justify Lucifer, so-called Lucifer, just like Isaiah, the 14th chapter, when this right. is not what it's going into. It's going into the powers that be. All right. The elites, Esau, Edom, the creme de la creme of this world. Just as the scriptures say in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Okay. Go ahead. Right, you want it from the top? Start from the top. Now, this is Ezekiel chapter 28. And, yeah, you got it, you know. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 28 in verse 1. It says, The word of Yahweh Bashel Shai came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of uh, Tyrus, Thus saith the, the Lord, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am the Most High, I sit in the seat of the Most High, in the midst of, so like, in the midst of the seas, Yet thou art, thou art a man and not the most high. Now I got a question real quick. So this great seat, Lord, it, I just gave it away kind of in a sense. You know, but it says the Prince of Tyre sitting in the midst of the seas. You know, do y'all know what sea that's talking about? Mediterranean? Uh, the Mediterranean Sea. Exactly, because that's where Tyre, Tyre settled. All right, that was an island that sat right there on the Mediterranean Sea. All right, so he's using the Prince of Tyrus or the King of Tyre as an example of one that was lifted up in pride. All right, and you correlate that to Mystery Babylon right now because you can correlate that with Babylon, America, that sits right there in that seat, you know? And even the scriptures say, symbolically speaking, that woman that sat upon the seat, which the seas are talking about the people. I, I have okay. a Oh, that's... Revelation, Revelation. Yeah, let's get it. Go ahead and get it real yeah, quick. That's yeah. fine. This is uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 15, jumping straight to the point. And he said unto me, this, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. There you go. Peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Now, again, the Prince of Tyre is used as an example of one that's wicked that sat in pride amongst the people. But ironically enough, that island did sit right in the midst of the Mediterranean Sea. You know, which is dope how this, this, this is illustrated. You know, because this kind of gives you a visual of what was taking place back then. You know, to understand symbolically of what is being talked about right here in Revelation 17 of what the brother just read. Okay? You got it. God, in the middle of verse 1, it says, Yet thou art a man, not the Most High, though thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. Not a script. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. God, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that was a talking point that I want to bring out in a lesson, because I plan on doing a lesson on this as well, going into him being wiser than Daniel. Because we got all these examples and such to show how he's wiser than Daniel. You got this man. Matter of fact, somebody, Bobby Gasol, let's pull out Revelation 13, going into how he was even able to make fire come down from heaven. All right, and so, while somebody's pulling that up, you just look at Daniel, for example. You had Daniel, 
who was a very high-ranking official, not only in, in the Babylonian courts, but also in the courts of the Persians and the Medes and all those times. And Daniel was known for his wisdom. Daniel, Shagrat, Meshach, uh, and Abednego. Shagrat, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel. Right. These four wise men. Because when you read books like Daniel, the second chapter, we talked about that a few nights ago. When you read books like Daniel, the fifth chapter, where there was a large banquet that took place, there were certain occurrences that happened. Daniel 2, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, right? And in that dream, he couldn't even remember it when he woke up. So he commanded all his Chaldeans, all his wise men, all those astrologers, which Daniel was included within that, to say, look, I need you to tell me this dream, and, and I don't remember it. And if y'all can't tell me this dream, y'all gonna die, you know? So it was like, dang, and it was like, how are we gonna tell you the dream? We don't really know. You know, so that's when Daniel came about, and the Lord gave Daniel the vision of that dream, and Daniel explained it. So right there in that moment, you had these Chaldeans that was here in wisdom, but you had Daniel that was up here. Because he was able to decipher those dreams and do things that those modern Chaldeans that worshipped in the ziggurat, that did all those duties, all those, you know, uh, you know, went to their gods. There was a priesthood at the end of the day. And Daniel showed that the wisdom of the Heavenly Father was higher than that at that, you know, at that time, was generally at higher, you know. Then you got Daniel 5, the great banquet that took place. And that hand that came out of nowhere that said, Mene, Mene, Tekel, right? Could nobody, they couldn't decipher what it meant. You know, it was to the point where Belshazzar got the stargazers, those astrologers, those Chaldeans, and they couldn't decipher it. So you had a woman that was like, well, shoot, you remember back in the days of your father, man, Nebuchadnezzar, there was a wise man, he old now, but he was able to do all these things and decipher this stuff. So Daniel was older, he was a little older around this time, and he was brought, and he broke it down to them. So you have examples in Daniel's books and his stories and his writings where the Lord looked at him in a certain light. And with that light, the Lord looked at him, Daniel was extolled to the heavens. You know, among the heathen, he was set in a high regard. He sat on court seats in heathen courts, you know? So now you fast forward to this day's time with these modern day Chaldeans, Isaiah 47 goes into that, the shit they're able to do. You know, these niggas are able to make wormholes. You know, they create a CERN, a particle accelerator, which creates dark miter pockets. You know, shit that's created in the heavens and such. Esau's been given the ability to do that. Anybody got that Revelation 13? Didn't they just cut off a CERN in, uh, in New York to, uh, to another one oh, of the countries? Oh, like a miracle. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much saying. I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how valid that was. I don't know yeah. if that was somebody that was just saying it. Okay. You know, but hey, if the nigga tries it, yeah. still, that nigga would take it there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a, it was like a, it was like a pretty much, in a sense, it was this big circle in New York. Yeah. With a, like a screen on it, and it would actually videotape people from Switzerland. So people like, yeah, females walking up, flashing the screen, and you know, okay. people switching Switzerland, gotcha. seeing it. it was, that's what it was. But it was like they, they called it a portal. Okay. You know Which is a door. Exactly. A portal's a door. So in a sense, really, that was a door. That was a portal. You know, because that was a doorway. You know, to see what was going on in Switzerland. Right. And ironically enough, it was Switzerland out of all the land where they built, you know, a particle accelerator, a hydron collider, bro. Right. You know, and that's one example out of many. You know, you got these devils that went up to space. Of course, they can only go so far up there. These niggas that went in the ocean, you know, they didn't found the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench was inexistent, you know, to man before Esau went down there. And, you know, in the days of Daniel and all those different individuals, in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, all these kings in the past, ain't nobody never heard of no damn Mariana Trench. You know what I'm saying? But now you got in the last days Esau that's been given the power to go above and beyond to seal his fate, to show that he is the man that the scriptures are talking about. You know? Yeah, and that was with Salaki, that was with Dublin, which was in, with, in, 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 with, uh, in, uh, with Ireland. The water for the yeah, club, yeah, the water for the yeah. So, so all the inappropriate behavior or something just coming up that was too tragic, people was posting it on there and flashing it, they wasn't feeling that. Yeah, you know? For sure, yep. for sure. No doubt. You got it, huh? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 13, it says, And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's right, that's right. And then, you know, to, 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 to go more further into that, that right there is specifically talking about a time period during the Battle of Kostovo, you know, when they pretty much shot missiles there. 
You know, but also at that time, that was something new. Right. That was like, damn, they got this much firepower? Right. Cause now these niggas got, well, they got, well, they had the atom bomb back then too. You know, they tested it out, but still, just going into it, this man has been given the green light and the power to be able to split an atom in half, and that was back then. Now he has the power to put four atoms together and have them collide together, which creates a nuclear reaction. You know, a nuclear bomb, man. You have nuclear fission, which is an atom splitting in two, which created that, which was part of the atom bomb. And then you have nuclear fusion, which are multiples of them coming together, which creates a bigger bang. So this nigga Esau has been given information from the heavens to split an atom in half. You can't even see an atom with the naked eye. But to be able to have the technology to split it in half, knowing what's gonna happen, Daniel wasn't able to do that back then, bro. Right. <laughs> you know, he was wise, but the modern day Chaldeans now, they got it. It's to the point where we're gonna need heavenly help to be delivered from this man, bro. You know, because he's been given a formula to rule the world, and now he's been given spiritual capability on the left-hand side to do it in a very rigorous fashion. You know, to the point where it can even look esoteric in the eyes of certain people that don't have understanding. This is what Esau's been given the power to do. You know? And like the elder said a second ago, even with his manipulating of words, the things that he says, like he's he's beyond, he's beyond what those Chaldeans was back then, bro. You know? You got it, huh? Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, you have pestilences that are brought about. Now back in the ancient world, and the Lord can still do it today, he'll bring a pestilence, best believe. But now you got Esau that has the technology to create a pestilence right. in a laboratory and say that, oh man, this is gonna get dropped in December. Even though it's still a little Lord at the end of the day, but Esau has been given the power to even create pestilences. You know, to create chaos and try to say, we're gonna create order out of this chaos. The whole earth is given into his hands. That's right. You know, so he has power to do a whole lot of things. And niggas creating black holes, bro. That's different, bro. We can't right. just create a black hole, man. Right. This nigga doing that shit. Let you know who Esau is at the end of the day, man. Yeah. You know, when he said, I am and there's none else beside me, Esau, the Lord placed it upon his mind for him to make it seem like as if he's the one that's in control of right. all these things. That's right, huh? See, just like Pharaoh in the ancient world, man. You know, Pharaoh, you know, the Lord was hardening his heart. You know, he had his uh, ancient, uh, you know, his magicians and astrologers right. actually mimicking the same things that most do through the power of the Lord. But it got to the point where as, right. you know, it got to the point where as pretty much the miracles that Moses was doing was so was so deep to where as like people was dropping dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was like, look, Pharaoh, we, can, hey, we can't mimic this. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? We gotta let these people go. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because what they, hey, man, they power with them right now. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be the same way too, man, because hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bash and we in that, we, we come in that same spirit as Daniel, man. That's right. Because a lot of these people that's, that's these everyday Joe Blow six pack Edomites walking around. When I say six pack, I'm talking about beer. All right, I ain't talking about these you know, muscle bound six pack niggas walking around. But, you know, these everyday Joe Smoke Edomites and Jakes, all, everybody that's pretty much looking at the solar eclipses, right. exactly. seeing all these things that are happening, and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. We got the scriptures to decipher and break these things down right. using the scriptures, letting these people know what time it is, man. Yeah, but what does Daniel mean? You know, Daniel God is my the judge. Most, most high, yeah. yeah, the most high is judge. You know, so hey, like you said, spiritually, we're like Daniel, we're in that place. Very similar, you know? And you look at it, he was, bro, he was in a foreign land. You know, he was in a foreign land. You, you think he could keep all the laws 100% over there? No. Right. You know, he could only do it to the best of his ability. It's the same concept, bro. You know, so hey, we can relate to Daniel in a lot of different ways, man. And not even just him, but a lot of the great men. A lot of those great men are back here today. Some of them in the spirit world, some of them are here, but we're going through the same things that they went through, man. Right. But now we're looking at a time period where the Chaldean's excellency has mounted up to the heavens, man. The Chaldeans actually didn't mount to the heavens in the days of Daniel, bro. You know, that was for that time. But now, matter of fact, um, let's get Isaiah 47, Bobby Kishore. You know, look at that excellence. Was we, read, was we reading something right now, too? Oh, yeah, Ezekiel 28. 28 still. That's right. Um, yeah, Really quick, look at Isaiah 13. 47. Did you, Revelation, did you finish up on that verse in Revelation 13 about the fire? Yes, I believe so. That's pretty much it on that one. You know, we can get Isaiah 47. We can jump back to Ezekiel 28. Yeah, yeah, it's whoever, whoever wants to. It's all good, you know. Since you're, yeah, you're holding something already. You can read it. Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Isaiah 47 and 1 says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter.
daughter of Babylon. Which is Esau Edom, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Daughter of Babylon is Esau Edom. That's right. Okay. Edification. That's right. What's that? Psalms 137? Mm -hmm. And uh, 7? Yep. It's for edification for those who are new. It says, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Mm -hmm. And those Chaldeans, today's Chaldeans goes into the modern day priesthood today, which you have the elites that are part of that. All right, it's a lot of factions that are part of that, but that's going into the priesthood that exists today. Right. All right. And the priesthood is being questioned right now. Yeah. Especially with the whole situation that's going on over there in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Right? People's... Uh, Beliefs, uh, religious-wise, is being questioned by the masses, man. Which, uh, uh, which uh, Christianity has already been on a downturn, but even more so. Mm -hmm. You got these Christians out here that's rationalizing the genocide. You know. Man, yeah. So wow. these people aren't the, the, the JWOs aren't, aren't, aren't seen as the victims anymore. Mm -hmm. They're not able to say, oh, exactly. exactly. You know, uh, you know what happened to us? The, the, right. The, 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 the hollow, you know, H calls. The H calls. Mm -hmm. It's to the point now where you gotta have commercials and such that are set up to say stop, stop the, stop the J double O H A blank E. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I'm they, oh, uh, like like it's a hand mic country or something. Yeah, right. I'm like, bro, y'all to be ashamed of y'all self, bro. Get that shit off my TV, bro. <laughs> So the little kid standing there with the big eyes. Yeah. Hell to the no, we don't feel bad for you, bro. Y'all get y'all get billions upon billions? Get out of here, bro. Uh, like a money for defense? Bro. Got one of the state of, got the state of the art defense over State of the art. But now you got these nations like Norway, Ireland, and Spain that's pretty much going against the whole status quo of even of even recognizing what's going on in Israel right, right now. Uh, right. And, and, uh, they're, they're recognizing uh, uh, Palestine, Palestine as a as a uh, uh, a country. Yeah. The, the, the two the two state uh, yeah. resolution. That's it. To where they're saying, look, man, y'all can both occupy that area. This Palestine has to have their own. Uh, uh, territory you can have your own region y'all can exist you know? but but what that does is you know following up on the eldest point what that does is that creates a quagmire right. between israel and america right. because our uh spain i want to say spain and norway are nato nations mm -hmm. ireland's not ireland's part of the eu but you got two nato nations and one nation that's part of the eu right. saying Nah, I'm not with this shit. And America is, is Israel's number one funder. Right. So what that can do, that can segue right way into, Lord willing, that can segue way into Revelation 17, where it says that ten horns gonna hit the horn. That's it. Because they don't agree. That's Daniel That's 2. It. That's it. That's it says it. that it said the, uh, the, uh, the ten toes, there's gonna be a, there, there'll be a division. You know? 